the next topic we are going to learn is properties of chord a perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle on its chord bisects the chord what do you mean by bisect the word bisect means divides equally into two parts so a perpendicular you can see this is perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle on its chord ab is the chord will bisect the chord that is will divide the chord into two equal parts so now we have going to prove this given segment ab is a chord of a circle with center o o is the center segment op perpendicular to segment or chord ab to prove segment ap congruent to segment bp prove draw segment oa and segment ob in triangle oap and triangle obp angle opa will be congruent to angle opb segment op is perpendicular to apb if it is perpendicular both these angles that is opa and opb will be 90 degree segment op congruent to segment op this is op congruent to segment op because it's a common side for both the triangles hypotenuse oa equal to the side hypotenuse ob radii of the same circle both these are radii therefore triangle opa congruent to triangle opb hypotenuse side theorem therefore segment pa will be congruent to segment pb corresponding sides of congruent triangle hence the theorem is proved so the same way there is a converse for the theorem also the segment joining the center of a circle and the midpoint of its chord is perpendicular to the chord once again the segment joining the center of a circle and the midpoint of its chord is perpendicular to the chord remember the statement also to solve the problems let us solve one problem to understand the concept the distance of a chord ab from the center of a circle is 8 cm length of the chord ab is 12 cm find the diameter of the circle here you can see given op equal to 8 cm ab equal to 12 cm op is perpendicular to ab this much is given to you now using the theorem a perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle on its chord bisects the chord that is a perpendicular drawn from the center to a chord will bisect the chord so bisect means divide it into equal two parts so ap will be equal to pb therefore ab is given as 12 ap will become 6 so here you can see ap equal to 12 divided by 2 which is equal to 6 cm oa is the radius of the circle oa it is the radius of the circle in triangle o a p angle o p a is 90 degree therefore by pythagoras theorem o a square is equal to o p square plus a p square therefore o a square equal to 8 square plus 6 square which is equal to 64 plus 36 which is equal to 100 taking square root on both sides oa will be equal to 10 radius of circle is 10 cm therefore diameter equal to 
2 into radius which is equal to 2 into 10 equal to 20 centimeter. Hence, diameter of the circle is 20 centimeter.